Hello out there. So today is uh, January 15th, I believe, and I'm going to be making the first vlog of 2021. As you can tell, I dyed my hair like this purple blue color. Um, check out my Instagram if you want to see it in its full glory. But today, um, I'm getting ready to go uh, snowboarding for the first time in my life. Yep, at 21 years old, I am finally snowboarding. Um, I got a lot of advice from friends, I got some equipment, and yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. Bye. Hello out there. So this is Future Jessica talking, and um, this ski trip did not turn out the way I thought it was gonna be. So first of all, we left really late at night. We left around at, like 10 p.m. <laughs> Like, it was 10 p.m., super dark, super foggy, like, you literally couldn't see the road at all. And since we were low on gas, we obviously had to find a place to get gas. And we ended up in literally, like, buttfuck nowhere, and it was super creepy, and it was just, like, hella sketchy, and it was basically a scene out of a horror movie. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, I'm done for this one. This is so creepy. No! Shipper, you'll be fine. Yes, that's exactly what I'm So when we were around about like 40 minutes away from actually getting to the ski resort, our friend calls us up and he's already at the ski resort. And he's basically the one that like set up this whole trip thing, whatever. And he basically told us, he was like, hey, remember when I asked you guys if we should buy like the ski resort tickets or ski lift tickets early? Yeah, I just checked and they're all sold out right now. And the only reason why we're going on this trip was to ski slash snowboard. Like we paid $80 each for this ski villa thing that we were staying in to snowboard slash ski. That was our main purpose. So the fact that there was a possibility that we wouldn't be able to like get on the snow at all was like a real like huge bummer. But luckily we were able to find um, ski resort tickets or like ski lift tickets at another resort an hour away and we were able to find a ski rental place that was willing to rent out skis to us. So everything was fine and dandy. We also saw a dog. Mm -hmm. I've that a lot. Well, let's pop our two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's something that I love. Cow. Cow. Puppy. You're so cute. I don't know, Dan, I'm going to Why is this one longer? That's great, Nanny. You know, we have the skis, we have the tickets. We've overcome one hurdle in our trip, right? So it should be smooth sailing from here, right? No, of course not. Uh, so as we were making our way to the other resort to go actually ski, uh, we were driving, so it's two cars. We had two, we had two cars, one in front, one in the back. I was in the car in the back. And basically it was hailing outside, like really bad. Roads were super icy, it was hailing. And there was basically like a group of people that were trying to cross the street, even though there wasn't a crosswalk. They were just like randomly trying to cross the street or whatever. So our friends who were in the car in front of us, they decided to stop for to let the people cross. But since they stopped, on a downhill, like our car, like basically slid on the hail on the ice and like crashed into our friend's car. So right when we finally were able to make our way to go ski and we only had like 30 minutes to get to our reservation, we get into a car crash. So our friend's car in front of us, their entire trunk got demolished. Like we couldn't even like close the trunk because like the lock mechanism when the when our car hit their car, kind of pushed the lock mechanism forward so they couldn't like fully close the trunk. And then also with our car, um, the license plate, the front license plate fell off. So we had to go back like down the road where like the crash originally happened and we had to like find the license plate. <laughs> we got into a car crash check and the license plate broke off. So after that debacle, 
we actually made it to our skiing reservation on time, surprisingly, and I finally got to snowboard. So that was basically my entire ski trip. Um, no one told me that snowboarding was gonna be that hard and nobody told me that I was gonna be falling that much. It was actually so embarrassing that I was on the bunny slopes struggling so hard to get down without falling while there's like these five-year-olds that are zooming down the mountain like no problem at all. I realized how pathetic I was. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Hope you had a great New Year's.